Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Argentina versus France. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The Argentina first team. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris between the posts. You, Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Usman Dembele in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Olivier Giroud. And now they get the ball rolling. Chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. We're going to see the first yellow card of the game. The referee not standing on ceremony. Well, he's under pressure now. It's a long time to be on a booking. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So France get the ball rolling once more. We're about to find out how they're going to react to the setback. Griezmann Aurelien Chouameni and on the back of that particular challenge will the referee let the matter rest there well the card is out and it's yellow yeah it's clumsy and it's late definitely a yellow card Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. That's the kind of shielding play. Will he finish? The save was a good one. Favouring the short one. Firing it towards goal. Oh, that's a fine save. taken short oh 
a vital interception. Mbappe. And Messi carries it forward. What's he going to do from this position? Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Giroud. Mbappe with it. Dembele. And you can sense the threat is there. Crossing opportunity. Mbappe. Hernandez. Now Giroud. And an attempt best forgotten, I think. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. Alexis McAllister. And they need to get tighter here. Marcos Acuna. Well read to put an end to that attack. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Rabio. Shot attempted. And not an effort that will live long in the memory. Well, the defenders will be relieved because that was a good chance. From that sort of distance, he should really be hitting the target. It was a really poor attempt in the end. Good officiating, waiting for the play to stop and now going back to caution him. Promising move this from France. Rabio. Now Piersman. A really top-notch piece of defending. Counter-attacking very much an option. They need to get bodies back. it out and a goal to increase the lead in this final will they be stopped now well here it is again and having got a touch on it he'll be a little bit disappointed he didn't keep it out it was a good effort though away with the lead standing at 2-0 there could be consequences given that the yellow card was handed out to him earlier and it is the case that two yellows equal a red well that was always going to happen he just couldn't contain himself could he and the play stopped they will make the change now Olivier Giroud. Rabiot. Rabiot! Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And played short. The delivery from Dembele. 
And an effective clearance. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Good-looking sequence. Paredes. And he takes it on. A bit sloppy in possession. Paredes. Oh, that's a well-timed pass. Giroud. Not a good pass. He has teammates around him. Mbappe! And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. But when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So there we have it, 2-1. Fine sequence of passes. Romero. Now well Molina. And good use of advantage, the referee allowing play to continue. Messi. What can they do from here? Well, possibility. Messi! What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. Kylian Mbappe. Really good challenge. Romero. Kylian Mbappe. Unable to keep the ball that time. Alexis McAllister. And a clear foul, but the referee letting the play flow. Opportunity here. Oh, good save. Short corner here. Lionel Messi. And players waiting in the centre. And Lionel Messi has turned infield. Well, the supporters think it's on. Determined defending. Messi. Another block. What a corner kick it is. Let's see if they can put this to good use as they try to add to their advantage. And deciding to go short with this one. Lisandro Martinez. Marcos Acuna. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here.
So into the second half. Can France bounce back after that first 45? A sloppy pass. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. They need to get bodies back. Messi. On the door, a broken counter-attack. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. It might be on for them. Well, as you can see, the first save is a good one, but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball. The keeper's a bit unlucky, really. the action and 3-1 the scoreline at the moment Dembele Dembele with the cross well they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity And the ball back with France now. They're making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Well, Argentina are enjoying most of the possession. And they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football. And they look like scoring more. The high press was very much on. And there it is! Three goals in front now. An immense performance. Just look at this again. The combination play in the top third of the field was so precise. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. Too much defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Not showing good vision. Mbappe. Mbappe. Difficult to stop him. That's well blocked. Rabio now with Mbappe Tempele he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one Lionel Messi and the counter attack is on options available well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them Rabio. Mbappe that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances Marcos Acuna Messi and here he is Lionel Messi Foiling his opponent completely. Griezmann. Yes, 
It's with Giroud. Wanted to keep it, but couldn't. 20 minutes to go. Can they hit on the break? Lionel Messi. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? And not cleared away properly. And problem solved for now. Griezmann. And unable to keep possession. Might really be able to trouble them here. But they dealt with the threat posed. Just 15 minutes remaining. Rafael Varane. Strong play here. Rabiot. And using his body to good effect. Being pressed and pressed high. Lisandro Martinez. De Paul. Oh, he's given it away. Teo Hernandez. Tempele. McAllister. We're inside the final five minutes. My goodness. And Messi! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. And time for the change now. Going short. Romero. Body in the way. Great block again. Mbappe. Oh, he's through here. Oh, terrific save. Well, you're absolutely right. That's a top-class save. Just look how he reacts. And they will make the change now. <laughs> Who can they pick out? And he clears the danger. Well, pressure building, another corner. Griezmann tasked with taking the corner. Well, as a defender, that will suit you down to the ground. A sloppy pass. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Now veering in field. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And space to exploit, maybe. And there goes the final whistle for the third time in history. Argentina have won the World Cup. And I have to say, Derek, they've been the best team in the tournament. There's no doubt about that.
Argentina, world champions. They did it in 1978 and 1986. They've done it again in 2022, Stuart. Well, this is the pinnacle of any footballer's career and what a night it's been for these players and the coaching staff and, of course, the fans.